Good morning, everybody. Um, <clears throat> thanks for joining us. Daiquiri BB and I are here again today for another uh, iHeart Huntsville interview. Um, uh, Abbey Realty is trying to promote Huntsville. Um, today, this morning, we have Huntsville Fire Chief Greg Mathis. Um, thanks, Chief, for joining us today. You're yeah. Um, we'll uh, just tell us about your time here with the Huntsville Fire Department. How long have you been here? Um, um, I understand uh, that you've kind of worked your way up the career ladder. Um, yes. Just tell us about your time with the Huntsville Fire Department. Well, I, I started the fire department as a volunteer in 1990. We're a combination fire department and um, in the 90s, a but, me and a buddy just decided we were going to join the fire department, and we did, and, and it stuck. I'm still here. <laughs> um, at that time, the fire department was, the face of the fire department was different than it is now. We had three full-time firefighters and 20, about 27 um, volunteers. And any of those folks that you talk to that that knew the fire department back then, it seems like we fought a lot of fires back then that we don't fight that we don't fight now. And and I credit that to the upgrades in building codes and newer construction and our in building inspection division and fire inspections and just all those things that are improving in our building construction, um, better fire suppression systems in our homes and in our restaurants and hotels and and uh, um, in about '96, I believe it was November of '96, I got on full time with the fire department and uh, I was captain of the ladder company. Um, coordinated the dive team, technical rescue, things of that nature, and, and I did that for a long time. Um, actually, I did that until March of 2018 when I became the fire chief. Yeah. And uh, had a wonderful career here. Lots of good, good men and women that worked for the fire department, and if it wasn't for them, um, our fire department wouldn't be what it is today. Yeah, yeah. Well, tell us about being the chief. Um, uh, you kind of like uh, the police chief, Kevin Lunsford. You, yes, sir. Um, you kind of been one of the uh, crew, and now you're the chief. What's it like being the boss? I tell you, it's it's definitely challenging. Um, like I said, a lot of great men and women that work for the city and work for the fire department, and I could not do the job that I do if it wasn't for them. Um, obviously, when you move from being one of the guys to no longer, I'm no longer one of the guys. Right. There's some challenges there that come with that, trying to make sure that that our staffing is available to, to um, at work every day and cover the trucks as we need. It's It's a challenging task. Right, right. Well, there's lots of exciting news with the Huntsville Fire Department. Um, can you tell us about the the new station that will be that will soon be built um, on Sam Houston Avenue? Right. So, Station Two was built in '39, I believe. Is that yeah, '39, and it was a bathhouse and a swimming For the swim pool. Yeah, right. The truck bay where the truck bay is now on Sam Houston is actually sitting on the swimming pool. We operated, um, we turned that into a fire station in 73, I believe. And we operated out of that station until just a couple of months ago. So um, that, that building has served the city well and it's time to move on. Yeah. We, we did a lot of changing in that building, or, or some changing, moved walls around, and we used to not have firemen that stayed there overnight, so when we moved to allowing, or to having 24-hour coverage, we put a sprinkler system in the building, and and 
moved some walls around and, and made a makeshift bunk facility for firemen to stay and for EMS to stay. And so we're excited about getting our new fire station. Um, it'll be a state-of-the-art facility with decontamination rooms in the truck bay and decon showers and ventilated gear storage rooms, air locks between the station and the living quarters. We'll also have a training tower, a three-story training tower there. All right. Our security will be upgraded from what we have now. Our parking and uh, truck bay apparatus floor will be secured behind a fence. We have had people walk into Station 2 before in the middle of the night for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's exciting that we'll have that level of security. Our truck bay, it'll be five bays. There'll be drive-through bays. That'll prevent some of our backing accidents from over the years. Um, there'll be office facilities there, two-story administration building with training rooms, conference rooms. We'll have a climate-controlled storage museum we kind of call it for our 1928 Seagraves ladder truck right it'll be inside um, we've got some art some items collectible items over the years from firemen that'll be in that area as well and so we're excited about it great great we are. and how much more room will you have compared to old about fire station four times as much room. four times yeah, yeah that's great so Will it be called fire station number two? It'll remain station two. Right. Yes, sir. Right, right. And will you be housed there? Will I that will be have an office over there, right, yes, sir. Right, I'll, right. I will probably leave this station here at four and move my office over there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, last thing, uh, Chief. Um, uh, where are you from, and, and how did you get to Huntsville, and, and why have you and your family stayed here? What do you love about Huntsville? Well, I'm... I'm from a lot of different places. <laughs> My dad was in the military when I was young, so we moved around a little bit from Arkansas, Miss uh, Chicago, Arkansas, um, Houston, Pasadena. You know, we moved up here in '79, and uh, I've I graduated from high school and went to work for the city in 1988, and just stuck with it. Yeah. I like it here. Um, I live out in the country, and and I like the, I like the atmosphere. It's, Huntsville has grown yes. since 1979. <laughs> yeah. right. I have a, a family history here. My have family that's been here a long time. So we used to come up when I was a child, and right, and I just stuck with it and went to work for the fire department in 1990, and and here we are. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're glad to have you, so. Chief. Yeah, and uh, thank you for joining us this morning. Um, we sure appreciate it, and, um, and, and good luck with the new station. Yes, sir. All thank right, you. thank you. Uh -huh.